Okay, hello, and welcome to uh, our next scenario in our uh, PBG Play Along uh, League Season 3 Challenge Mode. Uh, once again, bad hit here, and we're continuing with Daniela and Min through the circle undone, and we've reached um, scenario 6 Onion and Thessalonian. Um, we have decided to side with the Lodge, going with the Lodge all the way. Um, we're not deceiving or anything, and actually, I've only just learned that you have to be uh, deceiving the Lodge in the first place. So, um, we get version 1. Uh, we had no heretics unleashed, so no doom on the agenda. I randomized two unvisited dials, and we'll go over the deck upgrades pretty shortly. We rebought the exiled fire extinguisher, that was three experience, and with two more, I bought a second peat over the prepared for the worst. And I backed two, and honestly, I'm not sure if I had anything else to buy with Daniela. Running out of ideas with Min. We had nine XP with two banked, so we ended up doing some uh, more sw switcheroonies. We kicked out, and I've got a plan. And made it a uh, Pathfinder. And we also kicked out one shortcut and made it a deduction level 2, meaning we had to kick out a deduction level 0. So we added a cryptic research. And that's it. That was all our 9 beeps. Uh, we might repeat the same trick if we want the second deduction. Um, we don't have the puzzle box, so it might be a bit hard for us. But six doom advances, six, eight doom advances, six lose advance. We start here at the Miskatonic River. Um, the token bag is atrocious for us. Minus two is on circle test and another token. Minus three if we didn't take if we have no damage, we take a damage. It's the same thing with horror. And minus three, and if it's a circle, we not doesn't matter. Oh, and you fail, we resolve each hunted ability on our location. So uh, we need to light razors and let's get it rolling. So five cards on. Uh, Miss Daniela, and we have a mental trauma from last scenario, and one, two, three, four, five cards on min. We replace this stubborn detective immediately. I think I'm going to keep these two and ditch the rest. Here, we're going to keep Pete and Tetsu is going to be our back. Our, we're going to drop later. We're going to kick this. And honestly, this is a good weapon, but backpack can find more stuff for us. We'll keep that. Draw two new cards here and three new cards here. All right, something that I would have liked hitting off a of PMP, but never mind. Okay, let's start with min. First action, we will run out this scroll of secrets, and we'll use it immediately. One, two, three. We want to get rid of our weaknesses. We didn't. We'll draw this true understanding. And we'll stack it so the deduction is second, so we can PMP next turn when we investigate. Because second action, we're going to run out uh, Milan Christopher. And last action, we're going to walk into here. Okie doke. Daniela is going to run out Pete in a baseball bat, what we like calling the Pete ball bat. And last action, we're going to move in to join. Enemy phase, nothing, and we'll do upkeep. Oh look, a plan of action. One of eight doom. Oh, I just realized I forgot to shuffle in the ghoul priest, so let's do that. Asian evils. It's two of eight doom. And you get, well, here's the ghoul priest. That's a bit rough early on, I must say. Um, let's, between actions, use the scroll of secrets. One, two, three. Um, we want this. And we all, but we also want this grizzle to evade. Um... Interesting. We don't need the second scroll of secrets, but we can stack it so it shuffles. Um, like I could pick up the grizzled, keep this on top, and see where it goes from here. So he's a monster and humanoid. That's going to be enough for us to evade. It's going to get plus five. So we're at seven to four. We're going to slap in another icon and go eight to four. Evading, good. He's evaded. Second action, we're going to investigate at 5 to 3. Yep, that's an autofill, so we resolve the haunted. Lose an action or lose two resources. Um, 
they both up ending doing the same thing, so we'll lose the resources. And last action, we'll investigate again at 5 to 3. And once again, we lose our resources. That was pretty brutal. Talking about brutal, let's start punching. Set ghoul priest 7 to 4. It's a minus 3, and I take damage. But it is a success, so it's 2 damage. Second action, 7 to 4. That's an elder sign. That's 2 more damage. Last action, 7 to 4. That fails, but we'll lucky it. Draw a card, and put two more damage here. If face nothing, we'll pick this guy up, and we'll do upkeep. Oh, look, here's a dream diary. Three of eight. Counter card is Tear in the Night. We'll do five to four, and let's commit Unrelenting to draw some cards. Six to four. We succeed, actually. This goes away. No, this goes in our discard pile. We get Realm of Torment, so uh, we're about to lose all the money we had. <laughs> so let's start here with the Ghoul Priest. We're attacking at 7 to 4. Let's go 8 to 4 and seal some. Um, let's re reset the seal options. I'm going to draw more cards. Yeah, that's an Elder Sign. That's two more damage. Nope. Second action, we'll attack committing this. So now we're at nine to four, up by five. We have succeeded in killing the ghoul priest. To the victory display. Last action, we're gonna take the circle test, I think. Yep. I'm going five to three. Um. Let's commit this true understanding to be 6 to 3. We'll even slap on an icon 7 to 3. Up by 4. Absolutely fantastic. This goes here. Min gets a clue. Okay, uh, we will lose an action. Um, and for our... This doesn't have victory, does it? For a second action, we're going to um, walk into here. Okay, this has two shrouds, so last action we're going to investigate with the practice makes perfect. I know there's a deduction in our future, because so I put it there. So I'm going to 6 to 2, that's up by 4, and that should be good enough. Great. We gain a resource from Milan. Take these two clues, and we will also use uh, the last charge on Scroll of Secrets before it's the end of our turn. Maybe get some icons to get rid of this. Uh, what is it? Discard an asset or take a damage. Um, let's pick up the Burning the Midnight All that's economy, and we'll stack the top of our deck. We're testing 4 to 3. We'll just try it. Nope, we fail. Let's do upkeep. Ow, my leg. 4 of 8. Counter card is a Realm of Torment. You get trigger everything, so we take a damage and a spectral hound. That's not good. So we'll trigger everything to lose a resource. The two resources. First action, walking in. We can't walk anymore. Second action, we will punch with this with brute force. It an eight to two. We'll make it a nine to two. That kills this guy. Last action, we will stand together, which means two resources. I'm going to test this at 5 to 3. Let's go 6 to 3 with the teddy. That's a minus 3, and it's golden. Trigger this, taking another damage. First action, we'll investigate by burning the midnight oil. We'll commit this. We'll be a 6 to 2. That's up by 4. That's good enough. That's two clues. And a resource from Milan. Second action, we'll play out the Dream Diary. Last action. We're going to try... Can we? No, it's Bookfoot. We're going to... If we move into here, it's kind of risky. Let's do it. Boop. Uh, okay. 
Okay. End of turn. I'm going to go four to three again, trying to get rid of it. Yep, it's gone. And we do upkeep. Five of eight. Encounter card is. Psycho Pump Song. That's the extra horror, the extra damage. Extra damage. I'm taking that. Okay, Haunted. Take a. Yep. And this guy's aloof. Here. Absolutely fine. So Min picks this up. And first action, we're going to commit this to going 8, sorry, 7 to 3, 10 to 3. That's up by 7. It's a minus 2, so I succeeded by enough to get 3 clues. 1, 2, 3. Not the whole location. A resource and 2 cards. Well, that's pretty good. Second action. We're just going to investigate. At a 5 to 3, let's go 7 to 3. Let's go up by 4. It's pretty good. Great. I get the last clue. Last action. Shall we try? So I'm going to 9 to 10, 11 to 10. Twelve to ten, fourteen to ten, up by four. So minus three, we pass. It's good that we come into the last one. Search with Eureka. Okay, we'll take this perception. And we lighted this brazier. Okay, we're pretty set to advancing soon, but let's start with NL. We're gonna move once. Move for Zion. Okay, we're going to engage this guy. Last action, we're going to fight him with the baseball bat. It's 7 to 3. It's a minus 3. That's absolutely fine. He takes 2 damage. And he phase, he attacks me for 1, 2, 3, right? And one on this guy. We punch one back, and we do upkeep. This is gone. 6 of 8. Counter card is. Tear in the night. We can fail this. As much as we want, we're at 5 to 4. It's a minus 3, so we're at 2 to 4. We only fail by 2. Absolutely fine. <coughs> and we get a Whipper Will. Well, that's kind of bad. Wish I had the wrench. It would have been free kills. First action, I'm going to smack it 6, six to 3. Okay, this guy is... Dead. Second action will engage. Last action, we're going 62. Dead. Let's get our stats back. Okay, I think this is our last setup turn. First action, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to play out the archive. We're going to move on to here. Second action, we're going to immediately take it off to heal this and this so we can move several times. Um, we get the essence of the dream. We want to try this before we... Um, let's see, how high can we get? We're now a 6. Sorry, we're now a 7. 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, it's book, right? Yeah, we're going to shortcut ourselves into here. We're going to try this real quick. We're going to commit these three cards. We got a plus two, plus four, plus seven. So we're at a 14 to nine. That's not enough to fail. 14 minus three, that's 11 to nine. I succeed by two. So uh, let's start with the uh, this one. Pick up this Pathfinder. And then draw two. Okay, we're out of actions, but our hand is pretty gas, and we'll do upkeep. Peter heals at the end of the turn. It's really good. Seven of eight. Encounter card is a whipper well. And encounter card is a crypt chill. That's fine, I can lose this. Or not. Let's advance. So we need six clues. Oh. Two, three, 
four, five, six. Okay, six clues, and we each take a random set aside, and we each draw one of these. So Daniela moves here, and Min moves here. Foot plus fist, fist plus foot. This is going to be the hardest for us. And we each draw a random one, so Daniela draws Jerome's fate. Um, kind of a bummer. Take control of Jerome Davis. Really hoped. Daniela wouldn't draw this if Jerome disappeared into the mist and we're on his trail. Yes and yes. This goes away and we get Jerome. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't take up an ally slot scenario. Yep. And she gets... What happened to Daniela? She was pulled into the spectral realm. She wasn't claimed by spectres. She was pulled into the spectral realm, so this just goes away. Okay. They have the four clues to advance again? No. So, let's start with Min. We'll investigate here. We could draw three cards, but I could draw our weakness. You know what? It's fine. Let's draw three cards. One, two, three. Yep. First action, we're going to fade him, committing this. So we're at a six to two, and we'll go seven to two. Let's draw two cards. He's absolutely evaded. Second action. One, two, three. We'll play out this analytical mind. And last action, we'll investigate. Let's try PMP, although I'm pretty skeptical on what we'll find. Should be a plan of action here. That's great. So we're at five, six, seven. 8 to 4, and we'll draw a card off of it. Yep, minus 2. Get this clue. We pick this up. And I think that's it. Oh, we get a resource from Milan. We'll spend the 4 to advance, I think. Although it brings out the Spectral Watcher. Yep, Spectral Watcher is here. We are all here. Um, yep, along with the discard pile. And we put the guy's trap into play. Where's that? There you are. Okay, I'm not going to bother with connections. It's going to be too rough. Okay, we, now we just need to get everything. So all we need to do is kill the stubborn detective. We're at a 7 to 3. This guy's toast. Last action, we'll pay two to emergency aid ourselves. New phase, this guy comes to us, unfortunately. This guy walks here and we do upkeep. Dems the wrench. Aid all, we advance. Uh, does anybody take him by the watcher? No. Okay. We get Realm of Torment. It's the hunted here. Choose and discard one card from your hand. Absolutely fine. Eager for death. For each damage on you, so it's a two shred. It's a two, and we'll take two horror. I guess that's fine. Four all. So we take a horror, and then we take two more. One and two. Absolutely fine. Okay. Um, let's trigger this garden card from our hand. It's going to be the backpack. First action. One two. We're going to play this mechanics wrench because. Come at me, Whippoorwill. Oh no, you're dead. And that whore goes on Pete. It's great. Second action, we will play out a good weapon, which is going to be the fire extinguisher. Last action, we could try the circle test. Sure. So, it's a 9, we're a 7. What is it? Fist and book. It could be 9 all. Fist and book. I'll give three. Up by three. Great. This razor is lit. Okay, good. Let's pick this essence of the dream up. This is going to be the hardest one. We'll need clues for it. 
So first action, we'll investigate. We're at a seven to four. Oh, we should have tested this at five to three. It's gone, and he heals. So we're at seven to four. We'll draw a card off of that and be up by three. It's minus three. That's absolutely fine. That's a clue. Second action, one, two, three, run out said black book. Last action, we're at six to four. Seven, eight to four, up by four. So minus two, it's not a circle test. Just take this clue and take our Milan money, which we forgot to take. Enemy fade, this guy comes and hits us for one and one. We hit him for one back and we do upkeep. Okay, one of 10, counter card is, realm of torment again. Watcher's graphs, so it just attacks again. Damage, damage. Um, you know what? We will automatically evade it. Because why not? We trigger this, which is discard a card from our hand, which is going to be Spare Pete. First action, we're going to smack it with the wrench at 7 to 3, up by 4. So minus 3. Second action, 7 to 3 again. This guy is toast. Last action, play Dig Deep. Peter heals, we're testing this, and we'll commit these two. We'll be 7 to 3, that's up by 4. Absolutely fine, this is gone. Okay, we pick this up. First action, we'll uh, investigate it in 8 to 4. To minus 1, we get this clue, and we get this. We also draw a card. Second action, I'm going to run out this Pathfinder. We're going to lightning bolt into here. Last action, we will I need to drastically reduce that test somehow. Reduces by two, right? For each clue. So if I had five clues, I just pass it. Last action, I'll investigate at a six to four I could have cracked the case here. Maybe I should have. Probably should have taken two each. Um, last action, we'll go eight to four up by four. So minus three, that's fine. Get this clue. If there's nothing, this guy now goes like this and we do upkeep. This guy's with us. That's absolutely fine, two of 10. Card it, death approaches, that's the horror one. Technically I could still put it on me, but I'm gonna Give it to Min. Okay, five to four, absolutely fine. Auto fail, so this surges to a Spectral Raven, which, what is the haunted here? Discard a card. After he engages you, sure, let's discard this. We get, I am the fool. Everybody's doing his own thing. Let's we'll start with Min, pick this up. First action, we're gonna investigate it. Six to four, seven to four. Eight to four, we committed one card, so we draw a card. I forgot it was kidding in yellow. Um, I should have known. Do I give up the black book? I don't think so. Well, it's too late already. Eight to four, that's a minus two, that's fine. I get the clue. I get the buck. Second action, we're testing the circle test. We're reducing it by ten. So I can commit whatever I want. One. Two, three. Four, five, six icons. Yep, only autofill would have screwed me. I get rid of king and yellow. I don't draw cards. I do get a clue. And this is lit, which means everything is lit. Um, yeah. So we revealed the guy's trap. We're all forced to move there. The witch's spell was cast. It wasn't... Shuffle the remaining witches. No. 
that along with the discard pile. Is he ready though? Move each investigator at an unvisited aisle. Okay, so no, he stays here. And the witches and the discard pile. Shuffles here, real quick. Um, gonna hippity hop quick back because I want to get that clue. Last action, I'm gonna investigate at an eight to four. Where, um, where's the black book? It's minus two. That's fine. I get this clue. Oh crap! I'm about to take a lot of horror. Okay, you there. Um, I'm going to start by fire extinguishing this guy at 6 to 2. Dead. I'm going to have him attack me for 1. And oh, it has to be direct. I take it back. Second action, 7 to 3. It's minus 3. That's fine. He's dead. Um, 5. So I'm at a 15 to 20. I don't think that's good enough. Last action, I'm going to draw a card. Pete heals. And we phase this guy readies now, and we do up. Keep that three horror. One, two, three, because this goes away. Three of ten, counter card is ancient evils. Four of ten, and we get a whipper well. That's over here. For now, that's absolutely fine. Let's Pathfinder in. I wish I had my essence of the dream. Um, was the shroud here four? First action. We're gonna go eight to four. That draws us a card. Minus two. That's fine. Second action. We're gonna go seven, eight to four. It's a minus one. And that resourceful triggers, and I think there's a lucky here. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to get a resource off of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this onto us and we're going to heal two and draw two cards. King in yellow. That was pretty annoying. Okay. We have one shot at the circle test. It's now 12. We're 15 to 12. 16, 17. 18 to 12. Up by 6, up by 7, up by 8, up by 9. Great, we get this razor lit. That was our first action. Now, since the Whippoorwill is going to come to us, and so will him, we need to defeat him twice. The Spectral Watcher is defeated while the razor is lit, so no. We're going to go here, we're going to come at me, bro, to defeat this guy. And we're going to walk back. And you phase this guy comes to me. Uh, Peter heals at the end of my turn. He deals me one and one. And we punch him for one back. And then we do upkeep. Absolutely fantastic. Five of ten. Encounter card is ancient evils. That's six of ten. And encounter card here is a coven initiate. That's absolutely fine. We discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. It has not run out. And uh, Daniela, time to shine. First action, we're fighting at 7 to 3. That's up by 4. That's 2 damage. Second action, 7 to 3. Up by 4 again. This guy is defeated. While the brazier is lit. And everything... We did this. I forgot to mark it, but we I remember we did it. With Min with the shortcut and everything. And we advance. Disillusion. R1. Okay, R1... Wait, R1. Oh, uh, we weren't inducted to the inner circle, so we go to R3. Uh, Carl possesses secrets. Carl hates universe. Skip to resolution 8. Um, we get to add, um, what's his face? Jerome. Obviously, Min is going to take him. And we are in victory X, which is... This is a victory, this is a victory, this is a victory, not you. You go away, so does Annette. This is a victory, this is a victory. 
And I think we got maximum victory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight VP. Technically six is the maximum, but we also have a gold brace. So eight victory on all in all. This scenario went smooth sailing for us. Thanks for joining, and I hope to see you next time on uh, Pandemic Arkham Horror. Oh, sorry. On um, In the Clutches of Chaos. Bye.